Different manufacturers call coolant tanks different things, overflow tanks, which catch the radiator's overflow, reservoir tanks, which store the captured coolant, and recovery tanks, which recover coolant expelled when the pressure increases. All late model cooling systems have an expansion tank, containing reserve coolant. Cooling systems with expansion tanks called closed cooling systems, are designed to catch and hold any coolant that passes through the pressure cap. No coolant is lost, and excess air is kept out of the system. Like water, air contains oxygen, which reacts with metals to form corrosion. The coolant level will be checked in the overflow tank. In most cars today, an opaque coolant overflow tank is located in the engine compartment's front end next to the radiator, with hoses connecting the two parts. The opaque tank is made of white plastic, which allows seeing the inside and being sure that the coolant is at a safe level. There are markings on the side to indicate how high or low the level is. As the engine warms up, the coolant expands, causing the pressure cap to release. Hot coolant flows out into a recovery tank. When the engine cools, the coolant contracts, creating a vacuum that draws the fluid back into the radiator. Some closed cooling systems do not have a cap on the radiator. The overflow tank is pressurized with the rest of the cooling system. Systems with a pressurized overflow tank keep a small amount of air in the tank. This allows the coolant to expand and compress the air. Most tanks like this will have a pressure cap on the tank and no cap on the radiator. The pressurized overflow tank allows for the expansion and contraction of coolant as the engine temperature fluctuates, ensuring that the cooling system remains properly pressurized and filled with coolant. The pressurized reservoir tank is made from high-grade flame-retardant nylon materials which can withstand excessive heat and vibration.